Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great day. Well, today we are going to start this new silk project and we'll be starting right up in here somewhere. And the color that I'm using, it says is 893, which is one of those beautiful pinks. And I've already um, separated it and waxed it all. So, yeah. So, how's everybody doing? I hope you're all having a good middle of the week, and I hope your week's going good. Yeah. Well, today's my Friday already. Didn't I just have a Friday? Yeah, I didn't go to work Monday because my stomach was upset. So, yeah, I'm telling you, I have no idea what was going on with that. But we did get something to eat at, my daughter and I got, um, oh, like a taquero. I think that's what they're called, or taquito. I don't know how to pronounce it. And, uh, I don't know, maybe that messed with my stomach. I have no idea, but I'm fine now. Not a clue. Not a clue. Oh, my goodness. And yesterday was a bit busy. And then it just kind of died off. So, hopefully... That will be the story for today. I, I hope. I hope, I hope. Yeah, I was going to start up here in this corner, but all these colors are like white, off-white, maybe even a, a pale yellow. As you, well, I guess it's pale pink, but you can barely tell what color I'm stitching with. So I went with the bright pink. And my little girl with... A pink dress on with pink flowers. <laughs> yeah. So, no plans to go anywhere this weekend, I don't think, that I am aware of. Just not in the mood to go do anything. It was 83 degrees here, I think, something like that, yesterday when I was at work. So, it's a little hot to be traipsing around. We have to leave practically at 7 o'clock in the morning if we're going to go before it gets to be too terribly hot. Oh, whoops. I'm just stitching along here. But this thread is nice. It's working out just fine so far. I thought I'd try it with the wax, and then I'll try it without the wax and see how that goes. I had to fold this thing like, oh dear, if I can just pick it up a bit. So it's folded over probably a good eight inches, and then I rolled the rest of it up because it's just easier for this desk to do that with. So we'll just... We'll just stitch like we don't know any better, right? What did I stitch on yesterday? Did I stitch on anything? I, I got nothing. Just totally, totally blank. It's just been a really messed up week. <clears throat> so. And since I didn't work on Monday, so it, it's kind of a short week. Now, see, I don't know if you can see how that thread is twisted. So, I just kind of twist it in the opposite direction. And that way, it kind of poofs out the thread. And that works well with for me, but might not for anybody else. But since I do the sewing method, it kind of unravels it or it gets twisted. From being up on top. So we'll just go to the end of this thread and go from there. I'm glad this is an 11 count because yeah sometimes I don't know I don't think I've ever seen a 14 count 
silk. I haven't, I don't even know if I had, sorry, everything's avalanching over here for some reason. Um, a long time ago when I was getting stuff from uh, AliExpress, it said silk or, or cotton thread. I didn't know what that was, so I always picked the cotton thread. But I was, I guess I was mostly getting um, 11 counts anyway. But I, I, to my knowledge, I don't think I have seen a 14 count silk. So I don't know if it even exists. If you know that answer to that question, put it in the comment section below. I'll have to look that up. That'd be kind of interesting. Because the, let's see, yin and yang that I have, it was 11 count. And those birds, I don't know what it was. I think it was called birds and blossoms or something like that. And the background was that beautiful teal color. Yeah. I'll have to drag it out someday. But Not to my knowledge have I seen a 14 count silk. And I take the silk all the way down to almost, oh, about two inches. When I uh, stitch until I can't turn the needle up and down. So we're getting real close here. And then I'll show you how much I have left over. But I thought it was a pretty pink color. Okay, it's getting real close. I think this is about the last stitch I can make. Okay, let me flip it. So what's everybody working on? Are you ready for this? Is it this weekend? Nope, not this weekend. I lied. Wrong weekend. Next weekend is the July. Oh, I put it away, didn't I? Dang it. Hang on. Oh, darn it. Oh, here it is. So that's how much thread I had left. So, as you can see, it's about an inch, inch and a quarter. Now, it's stuck to my fingers. Of course it is. So. <coughs> Sorry. Choked on my own spit. And I did put a knot in the end of my thread. That's what I do with the silk. Because otherwise, it's just everywhere. You know? And it won't lay down or stay put any other way for me, so. I admire those that can get it to stay. They hide the thread and all that jazz and it just never works out for me. Hang on. That first thread went real nice. Got to get that backed out a little bit. So, yeah, I don't know what the flavor of the weekend's going to be or what I'm going to be stitching on the most. Over the weekend, I stitched the most on that tulips and, I think it's tulips and bird. So, and it's coming along. I gotta turn around here. Then I got it caught on the edge. That was awesome. 
Just been watching Netflix. Nothing striking my fancy that's brand new or anything like that. Dang it. Do it again. Trying to get these little edges. Seriously. I'm having more trouble with this edge. I'm going to have to get me some uh, thread and maybe stitch that edge down or something. It's awfully rough. So that doesn't help too much when you're working on this silk or working with this silk thread. I try to avoid the edges. got something out. I, oh, I've been working on that colorful town as well. So, I've been working on 14 counts for sure. Just recently, I, I'm not real sure why, but they just seem to be the most comfortable to stitch on right now, and I'm just kind of going with it. Now, I just ran this uh, through the, the wax just once since I have a big area. but And it's just going to go right straight through. Sometimes if I have to stop and start the thread and go someplace else, then uh, I may put a little bit more wax on it. But, and sometimes I just don't even need it. So it's all up to what you're comfortable with. And this needle's good. I I just picked one out of my uh, pin cushion there, so the the canvas is quite easy to to go through. You know, we're just gonna get us another little clip there to hold that mess back because it's driving me batty trying to keep it out of my way. But I wanted to start with a colorful color and start where these pink trees are. I have no idea what any of the other thread colors are that are surrounding all this. But this doesn't seem to have a lot of confetti. It Things tend to run in rivers in this one. So that's a good thing. I get a little tired of confetti. Some days I can put up with it all day long. And others, not so much. Just gotta be, oops, come, be in the mood, if you will. Now we can go forward. I'm getting way out there now. And the symbols seem to be just absolutely lovely. So nice and clear. I do like that. I'm gonna see if I can get it. We're about to run out of thread again. I'll 
show this to you once I get it across there. I think this is going to be the last stitch here. All right. Turned out to be kind of a neon pink, if you will. Let me get where it's got to be. Give it a good knot. There we go. My ends are pretty frayed by the time I finish. There you go. But can you see how bright that is? It's like, whoa. It really didn't give that impression when I pulled it out of there. All right, guys. Ouch. Get rid of that needle before I lose it. <clears throat> Sorry about my talking. I seem to be losing my voice. Talked too much yesterday. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.